So this week saw Greta Thunberg's 18th birthday. So uh, Greta, this cheech is for you. How much smoke? Fucking all of it. How dare you? Right, muckers. A new year. And, uh, yeah, lots of new stuff. But, um, now the first part of the video you'll see um, will tie in with the question at the end. And we'll talk about what we've got and what we're going to do and this, that and the other. Um, but, uh, well, the easiest thing to do is for me to take a break from sorting out this place and we'll go have a look. So, Fordson Major Diesel E1A, um, this is how we got it off farm as such, so what its previous life was, I don't really know. It is um, a 1950, if I know, um, but once we start cleaning some of the grime and the oil and the dirt off, we can find some casting numbers and that will enable us to date it a bit more accurately. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's not a power major, it's not a super major or anything like that, it's just a straight Fords and Diesel major. Um, so we're, we're assuming it's probably 1952-ish onwards. Now you can see this tin work, um, it's got rot in the normal places that the majors rotting there's a fold in there and dirt and dust gets in there then condensation and it basically rots from the inside out a um, couple of bits there but overall it's not all smashed in and it was surprising because this was uh, at some point in its life on a loader the loader fitted but it's actually very very straight paintwork uh, is of its time, it's you know probably hasn't been touched uh, or resprayed at any point in its life. One or two other bits may, may have done. I don't know. As I said, until we get it cleaned off, we don't know. But it's very straight, um, not smashed about. Yeah, there's a couple of three bits of rot where they normally go. Hinge in the centre here wants a bit of attention, but it's still in one piece. What's wrong with this one? Oh, nothing, Tommy. It's tip top. It's just I'm not sure about the colour. Everything else is, is there. Uh, and this is what I like about it because it tells a story about this tractor. The first thing a lot of people want to do when they get something like this is they'll put a new nose cone on it, but that's then in grey primer. So you then got the original sort of paint and tin work, a new nose cone in grey primer. Okay, then which case you could Spray that in Fords and Empire Blue. So then you've got a lovely shiny Fords and Empire Blue immaculate nose cone with some old paint. So, all right, then let's respray it. So then you respray it. That's really good. But you've lost, you've lost its story. You know, this rot and that in here, we can treat that to stop it progressing any, any further, or at least slow it. Um, because it's a, the original nose cone with the original tin work, you know, and I just think it's, it's like, I mean, I've got scars on me, you know, I weren't born with them. So what do I do? Do I have plastic surgery to, you know, take away the scars? It's just part of me, isn't it? It's part of my life, my story. And the same with this. Now, if it was completely rotten and all smashed in, this was all, bashed about and really rusty and whatever. I mean, where are you going to go with that? Just to preserve it, to stop the, the rust and rot getting really bad. Yeah, clean it down, get it blasted, you know, change the panels and whatever, get newer ones, spray it and, and do a restoration. I fully see it and that's and lovely to see, but it's just of that time. 
And I love seeing things like this, I really do. Which is why I had to have this one. So again, on this side you can see it's fairly, you know, unmolested. Uh, has, even though it's had a loader on, it hasn't had the whole cut through the, the hood here on the bonnet and, and put out, which often a lot of them did to keep this uh, away from the side of the loader arms. Um, the steering on this tractor is remarkable. Um, I know it's a bit so you can see it a bit. Plate, but look, it's, any turn up here transfers to the wheel. A lot of these uh, tractors of this age, this has done a lot of work. But you, you, you're like that, and, and they might move, or up the road they're like that, and they're fighting it. This thing is just set off, it goes, and just doesn't move an inch, just goes where you put it. Absolutely fantastic, really do like that, as I say, it's just a, a real change. Um, what have we got? We've got a wide belt, by the looks of it. So that would indicate a gain early, having the wide belt. Um, obviously the light, the light delete at some point, but again, that's not surprising. Um, so down here is where we're going to start finding some casting numbers, hopefully, and from that we can date it fairly accurately once we get it cleaned down. Uh, all the linkage works on the back, the hydraulic lift arms, everything works there, so that's good. Uh, it's still piped with the auxiliary coming around this side so it could power the loader arms. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Now, we've got to address one or two oil leaks. It's a piece of junk. The fuel system leaks all over the place. It's a piece of junk. Uh, again, until we've got it all cleaned down, we won't know where they're coming from and whatever, and we won't know what parts to order, but that's part of the fun. Now, some of you will be out saying, uh, you know, oh, so you're gonna wash this one? Yes, it starts, it runs, all right? So if I now wash it and it doesn't start, I'll know that the washing process has got something wet or whatever and we've got to address that. I'm not chasing, you know, well, is it because of the washing? Is it because of something that doesn't work? Is it because the starter doesn't work? All right, so that's why I won't just go on go straight to a tractor that I find, I don't know if it doesn't start or run, and then start washing it down. Forget all that, you're just adding to possible problems further down the line. I, as I said, I love finding like this. It is just like a little time capsule. And um, even with all the scars and blemishes and that, it just shows it's had a life. And, you know, as I said, if you don't need to completely restore it and spray it and that, that way you can retain some of its history and some of its story because it just continues. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. What we do now is while that's soaking in, the back end is where all the just the dirt, the grime and stuff is. So I'll just power wash that off first uh, without degreasing because it's only going to sit on the dirt. Then we'll degrease the back while we wash the front 
him off the back, and then we'll probably do the whole lot again. Go mow some lawns or something, you greasy bastard. I honestly think this stuff is molasses or some kind of cattle feed because it is just really sort of like hard sugar. Well, just like molasses is really, you know, when it goes off and just cakes everything. But, oh. Before some corn holder goes, no oh, man, you want to use some, uh, use a steam cleaner? Yeah, well, we ain't got a steam cleaner here. The steam cleaner's at another yard, so we've got what we've got. So shut the f*** up. So this old molasses type cattle feed stuff is just stuck there and it's solid. And obviously it's cold today, so it, you know, I'm trying to scrape at it and that. But Now I thought I'd done enough burnouts just recently, but uh, it seems that, uh, well, we need another one. It smells kind of like one of those old um, honey curlers. Here we are, all cleaned down. And um, yeah, it's not looking too bad really. So all the tin work came up all right. Uh, as I said, paint's not bad on the nose cone. Um, block and the castings on the transmission and all that. Uh, that's not too bad at all. It's a nice lot of paint on there. Uh, injector pump, so we can see any leaks in that now on there. Same on this side, all come up all right. Nice tin work, nice and solid. Um, managed to get some casting numbers off it as well, that's the other thing. So down here, we got this number there. And from that, plus the number we've found on the inside. Here. All come up all right in there as well. Well, that sticky stuff was. So once we give it another go over, which we will do, uh, anything else is on there again will come off any, you know further but at least I've had a lot of time to soak in that now now with those casting codes that we showed you earlier we've been able to date it uh, to a late November 1952 build all right late November 1952 so that's you know another little bit of its history and everything else ties in so uh, that's always nice to see now here's this week's question for you and um, it's just to find out, you know, what your views are, because I know what I'm doing, as I said with this. I know where I've got, what I've got to do, what I've got to get, and where I've got to go with it. Um, but if this was your tractor, right, would you 
change this nose cone to a replacement one uh, and then have it all resprayed and so it all looks really nice and tidy or would you preserve it as it is and make sure it doesn't deteriorate any further and um, just sort everything out mechanically so she's on the button so um, and, and basically you then preserve its history and its story so what would you do would you respray it all or would you just keep everything as it was and try and preserve it and then do all the mechanical stuff and you know spend your time and money on that instead put your answers in the old squid pit below in the old comment section and i'd say just be interested to see what uh, what your views would be so stay tuned we've got lots coming up and um like i say i don't mind it's up to you whether you subscribe or not but I'm getting a lot of people ask me, you know, have you uploaded yet? Or are you going to? Or I can't see the video. That... Listen, the only way you're going to do that is to subscribe to the channel and then press the notification bell. And that way you should get told as soon as we upload a video. Well, that's how it's meant to work. So there we are, muckers. Right. Onwards and upwards. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Do well.